Southbound 3404. You would, would you contact Scott Air Force Base to see if they have anything flying in this area, please? Got out of the car on the driver's side. I was standing over here when it got closer. That's when I was able to discern the, the actual shape, the triangle, and so forth. When it got about approximately 150, 200 foot south of my location and about 1,000 to 1,500 foot high off the ground is when it made the flat turn, started heading southwest again very, very slowly, almost almost like a floating or a moving hover. Um, I reached back in the car, picked up my radio to tell CENTCOM where it was at and so forth. And when I looked up again, which is basically about two to three seconds, it was already over Silo, which is about six to seven miles to the southwest. 4 well, whether it's a plane or not, it's heading westbound now. It should be really close to Scott now. Matter of fact, if the shadow officer looks up, they can probably see it for now. 2550, I see something, but I don't know what that is. On January 5th, about 4.30 in the morning, Ledman gets a call for this flying object. And after he had seen it and said that it might be in Shiloh or Lebanon, I'm driving right here, eastbound Lebanon Avenue, and right in this field is where I observed it. Sencom 5404. I looked up in the sky and observed this huge arrow-shaped, triangular-shaped object just floating in the sky right in the open field right over here. And it had three big bright lights lighting up the entire sky just beneath the flying object. And it was just floating gradually west southerly along this field over here <clears throat> at a gradual slow speed. And as I stopped right up the road here to get out and see if I could get a picture or observe it better, the object with unexplainably in the naked eye was just from gradually moving to all the way down in the field like within the snap of a finger or a, a wink of the eye. And there was no sound. I had my window down. Uh, the radio was off. And there was no sounds, no nothing coming from the flying object. And it was every bit of 75 to 100 yards that appeared to be wide. I didn't get a very good look at the length wise. Next thing you know, it just was down the road. Sincom 604. Go ahead. I've got that object inside also. Are you serious? It's huge. 10-4. And that's when I first saw it. it was a huge object. It was an arrowhead-shaped object. It's concave in, in the rear, and it was huge. For the size of the object, it was moving very slowly. Only about 500 to 1,000 feet off the ground. It was very low, so I got a real good look at it. There were three lights to the rear of the object, uh, one in the center and, and one on either side, on the right and left side. And then in, in the center of the rear, in the concave section, it was like a strobing white light that got bright and then dimmed off as, as the, the strobing effect went across. Um, then on the bottom center of the object, I observed it was a, a red blinking light. It headed straight to the north, and then as it banked, it made a distinct tilt, and then it, it turned and went toward the uh, St. Louis Dupo direction, which would be to the northwest. So that you saw a distinct bank? Yes. It, it didn't sway in the wind or, or anything like, like a blimp possibly would. 604, 3923 on County 2. 604, Ben. I'm not sure if the same item that you said. One here appears to be pretty high in the area. My first thing, I hope I know you can see the different colors. Now it appears to be white. Very large. It's hard to tell. It's pretty far off in the distance. I looked at it with binoculars. It looked a lot brighter. The lights were a lot more, I guess, had a lot more brightness to them than a regular aircraft would. And about that time, the dispatcher called me back again. I wouldn't know if I still seen the object. I said yes. And she said that Lambert Airport's on the phone. They said there's nothing in the area around you. This object was above me about 500 feet, and it was huge. Yeah, that's uh, usually the planes are. It's not low at all. I couldn't tell exactly how far it was. It's a pretty dark night, and... I was looking with binoculars, but it's definitely off to the east pretty far. The UFO took its course through Highland, Illinois at approximately 4 a.m. It then moved southwest toward the town of Summerfield, where it was spotted by Lebanon police at 418. It then approached the police officer at 423, where it then shot suddenly to Shiloh, six miles away, in two to four seconds, and then moved southwest. The UFO then moved to the town of Millstock, where it was seen at 428 a.m. local police time, 
where it then took a northwesterly direction and was then spotted by an officer of the DuPo Police Department at 5.03 a.m. where he observed the object turn back to the east.